Right, after finding a good sander, now I'm ready to drill the hole. Usually I will make the top a little bit flat. Brace my arms together using this part here. You can do that too. Make the top flat. And then I usually use my uh, thumb to uh, drill the initial opening. You can either use one thumb to drill on the left, the right thumb do the drilling and the left hand is kind of uh, supporting it. Okay, or you can use your both thumb and leverage it. But when you are drilling, make sure your hand is resting on the outside of the clay. Okay, so make a small, uh, small cup, small ball, a small indentation here. And then I'm going to drill deeper, okay? And for drilling deeper, I'm going to use my left hand, okay, left fingertip, and when I'm drilling it, make sure you don't want to curve the finger too much, okay? You don't want to do that. You want to form your finger naturally and using the pad of your fingertips, okay, the pads, and then a push, okay, push down. So this is my left hand, okay, drill it down, straight down from the center. Okay, that's the left hand. But now my arm is not brazing anywhere, so it's kind of loose. So uh, you might lose your center when you're drilling if you don't brace it. So this is what I do. Place my right hand here, touch up on the outside, and rest my arm right on the splash pen. If you don't have a splash pen, or your splash pen is uh, it's not as very sturdy, you can rest on your laps. Right, this is the uh, right hand, and this fingertip could kind of control, okay, touch up the, the clay there, and then brace my left hand on my right hand, and then drill. You don't want to open it yet until you reach the right thickness. Okay, keep on going until you got to. I would say uh, between a quarter of inch or and uh, three eighths of an inch, depending on how thick, uh, how tall you want to give your foot. Um, if you are not sure, you you could uh, get a needle tool and uh, check it. So, bring your needle tool and then just poke a hole right there on all the way to the wheel head or to the bed, and then put your finger there to measure it. Okay, so that's about right. Okay, usually I leave my clay about this little bit more than a quarter of an inch. All right, once I reach to the right uh, thickness, then I'm going to spread out the, the base by just moving my fingertip sideways toward my right hand. Okay. And again, the right hand is still uh, compressing the wall here. Even put the thumb here on the top so you don't squeeze too much on your rim and then moving the finger sideways. And once you flatten out the base, you can go back and then uh, compress and using the, the fingertips. You go back and forth several times. And make sure that uh, you are moving your finger slowly. Couple times.
Now you take care of the base, then you're ready to raise up the wall. And usually, uh, it might be easier if you are making your, uh, when you sander, make your uh, clay a little bit lower, so it's easier for your hand to go in there and then uh, compress it. Right, now, a little bit indentation here, and then, uh, you see that I put a little bit indentation here, so I am actually going to grab the clay from there and then raise it up. Okay, so that's the uh, opening process. And let me show you the raising, especially when you have a small amount of clay, it should be easy, okay? Uh, people do this or do that, uh, as long as you feel comfortable. But since my clay is small, I'm actually I'm just going to use my uh, thumb and the finger inside and just grab the clay and lift it up. But by doing so, my hands still are not uh, very stable. So I'm going to use my right hand to support it. Pinch there and then support it. Okay. And slowly let go. And compress. Slippery. Each time before you uh, touch up the clay, make sure the uh, clay is slippery everywhere. Okay, one more time. Start from there. So I'm just going to show you what my left hand do without my right hand to support it. But you don't want to try this by yourself. Try to stabilize your hand, always. Okay. Pitch, and then lift. Okay, so one hand, as long as your hand is very stable. Um, you can see that, oh, it's real. The distance it's even okay so when you're moving the full rotation you move up a little bit full rotation you move up a little bit be uh, consistent speed okay not even the uh, speed of the wheel but also the moving hand okay your hand moving speed all right so this is the five pound of a clay uh, I love to show you two different ways of opening And first center. Right, uh, once you have center, you want to make sure the top is a little bit flat. And then start to open. So I usually use my right thumb and then the left hand, left thumb to uh, support it. Drill a little opening there. And then left hand again, okay, straight up, straight down, and brace my hands together, my fingers together. Take 
and get all the way and check the thickness by poking a hole using the needle tool okay so that's the right thickness and now the inside is kind of like a v-shape so you if you are throwing the cylinder you don't want to uh, you don't want to have a v-shape inside so now i'm going to bring my finger sideways moving my finger sideways fingertip sideways And make the base flat. And even a little bit of indentation there. Okay, so move sideways and then put the fingertip and making a little bit indentation. So that this is high opening, okay, high opening, making indentation. Right, so this is one way to open it straight down to the right thickness and then go move out okay sideways and make an indentation let me cut it open so that's the opening so go straight down okay straight down and then move sideways and little indentation and then later on i'm going to just lift okay lift the wall lift the wall from the indentation and then move it up okay so that's one way of uh, opening let me show you other way to open it all right so i quick quickly uh, re clean my clay re wet my clay and then i want to show you the uh, second way of uh, opening So first, again, center the clay. Make sure you have a very good center. And then um, I am going to uh, push the clay, the clay a bit uh, lower. Okay, my first one is a little bit taller. Um, the second one is below, right? And then the same way, using the thumb to uh, make a small cut, and then three already done. And check the thickness again right so that's about right and then now I'm going to spray the clay wider using my left hand if your left hand is not strong enough 
can use the both hand both hands and then just pinch and move the clay to the side And that uh, the advantage of opening the wider is that you will be able to take care of the base because it's wider. So your both finger, both hand can go inside and compress the base. Even you could use a um, a wooden rib to do that. Because the base is wider, so you will be able to do that just using the wooden rib. All right, once you take care of the base, now you want to color in. Okay, color this hand, this hand, and then the right fingertip. Uh, move the clay toward the center and move your finger up, move your fingers up. The base is still white and uh, you don't need to have a, such a white base. So the fingertips, the right fingertips, bring the clay and move it in, okay, toward the center again. The left, left hand is helping it. And then move it up slowly and compress the rim so again it's a similar shape like my my first one the opening okay it's a little bit taller now and the base is narrow so that you will be able to uh, lift up your wall from this point up so that's the second way, and uh, there's a, a little indentation. Let me cut it open so you will see. Uh, it's similar to the uh, first first method. See that? That's the inside look. After you color in, there's still in the little indentation there, and you are going to um, lift. Okay, lift the wall from there. Okay, I will show you the uh, uh, lifting method. Okay, several way to uh, lift your wall, but today I'm just focusing on how I open the hole. Two way, two different ways of opening. Right. So see you next time.